Hi, I'm Jeff McQuillan coming to you from beautiful Los Angeles, California and DSLPOD.com. There are lots of ways of saying the same or similar things in English. In this video, I'm going to share with you three ways to communicate or talk about the same meeting. I'll be using expressions from our ESLPOD.com lessons, which are part of our unlimited English membership. Let's start with a short dialogue from our daily English lesson 191, Changing Money. We're at an airport and Gustavo is picking up his friend Sandra, who has just arrived or landed in Los Angeles. Here's how the dialogue begins. Gustavo, do you have everything? Sandra, yes, I think so, but I don't have any U.S. dollars. Where can I change money? Can I do that here? Gustavo, you could, but I wouldn't recommend it. Gustavo starts by asking Sandra if she has everything, meaning does she have all of the things she needs to leave the airport and go with him? Now, how else could we communicate that same meaning? Well, we could say something like, are you all set? To be all set means to be ready. It's normally used more for when a person is preparing for something, but right before they're about to begin, like a speech, you ask them if they're ready. Are you all set? Here, we're using it to mean, do you have all of the things you brought with you? A third way of saying the same thing is, are you sure you got everything? Got, of course, is an informal version of have, the informal way of saying have. Sandra says that she has to change money. To change money means to take money from one country and convert it or change it to another country's money. You can also say this by using the verb exchange instead of change. Exchange is a little more technical. And instead of money, you can say currency because currency is the word, the technical word for the money of a country. The currency of the United States is the dollar. The currency of Japan is the yen. A simpler way of saying this and a more specific way would be to say, where can I change dollars into euros? Or where can I change yen for pesos? Gustavo answers Sandra's question about changing money at the airport by saying, you could, but I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't recommend it means basically, no, I don't think that's a good idea. That's a bad idea. But it's a little more polite because, of course, you don't want to be rude or impolite to your friend. No, you idiot, that's a terrible idea. You don't want to say that. We want to be more polite. And so saying I wouldn't recommend it is a polite way of saying no, it's not a good idea. Similar uh, way of saying this, a second way of saying this would be saying I wouldn't advise it. Normally the verb advise is one that a lawyer might use or a business person might use in an official way. I wouldn't advise you to talk to the police, your lawyer might say. But here we could use it as a way of saying I wouldn't recommend it. A third way of saying the same thing would be, I wouldn't if I were you. Notice that we say were instead of was. I wouldn't if I were you. Usually we use that phrase when there's something more serious happening, something perhaps that's dangerous. Someone may be walking up on a wall and you're afraid they will hurt themselves. So you say, well, I wouldn't do that if I were you. In this case, it's not a serious problem, but it is not a good idea, according to Gustavo. And so he could say, well, I wouldn't if I were you, if I were in your position. Now, if I were you watching this video, I'd go to our website at eslpod.com to get even more lessons that come with our unlimited English membership. And if you like this video, please share it with your friends and like us. From beautiful Los Angeles, California, I am Jeff Paquillan. Thanks for listening.